Hi, welcome to the Next For Me weekly newsletter for July 11th, 2018. Our newsletter delivers the latest news that inspires our post-50 generation with new work and a new purpose. In our free weekly updates, we discuss work, lifestyle, finance, education, and our communities. If you find our newsletter useful, please forward it to your friends. Attend one of our meetups across the country to discuss the future of our 50-plus generation. Even better, host the Next For Me gathering. Find out more at nextforme.com. And now, what's new? First, Modern Elders, Declare Your Independence. Next For Me advisor Chip Conley published this article originally on LinkedIn. Chip is a New York Times best-selling author and longtime hospitality executive who collaborated with the millennial co-founders of Airbnb to create the world's largest global hospitality brand. His next book, Wisdom at Work, The Making of a Modern Elder, is available on pre-order. Who doesn't remember being young and lying about their age at least once? Older meant more access, clout, gravitas, power. Today, older isn't perceived as better, and people lie in the opposite direction for fear of ageism. And the term elder has been misappropriated to conjure up images of Moses or the infirm. Call someone elderly today and it's like you're suggesting they had a personal relationship with George Washington himself. Read this full article by Chip Conley at nextforme.com. And next, tech entrepreneurs are not so young after all. From Kellogg Insight, the publication from the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University, comes an article that questions the commonly held belief that successful tech entrepreneurs are the domain of the young. The article is based on the research of Pierre Azoulay, Benjamin F. Jones, J. Daniel Kim, and Javier Miranda. Quote, There's this idea that young people are just more likely to have more valuable ideas, says Benjamin Jones, a professor of strategy at the Kellogg School. With a body of data from the U.S. Census Bureau and the contributions of MIT researchers Azule and Kim, the results of the research are quite different. In fact, the average period for, quote, great achievement is closer to middle age, around 45. A 50-year-old entrepreneur is twice as likely to have a runaway success than a 30-year-old. Read the full article at nextforme.com. And next, briefs, starting your career at 40. Women retire earlier. In Quartz at Work, Corinne Pertil reports on the work of psychologist Laura Karsterson, the founding director of the Stanford Center of Longevity. Karstensen argues that we've organized our lives in impractical cycles, cramming peak career periods in with dependent children and aging parents is a nearly impossible undertaking. Longer lives have made it possible to work much longer and more practically with respect to the amount of money needed to live into those years. She believes that to sustain the longer work life, we should consider longer careers with breaks to handle life's obligations. Read the full article at nextforme.com. That's it for this week's newsletter. You can find these stories and more at nextforme.com. If you'd like to get our news delivered right to your inbox every Wednesday, just sign up at nextforme.com.